So we have a, uh, a legal move here from Tim. But it looks like we're playing on anyway. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so this next match should be Druid versus Rogue. Tim uh, picking picking the wrong class there. I think. I think that's the rules, or else I've just like <laughs> colluded a bit, but we'll see. We got uh, Carl here playing uh, Druid, and not that bad of a start. I dropped the swipe in the anti kill bot. Hope to get an innovate. And uh, Tim to carry on with the uh, carry on with the road here. Fucks. See, that's not so bad. Coin the Met Warper, put out the clockwork no, so that's the play here. It was before Tim did that. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling he's just going to drop the clockwork no, though. No, okay. See, um, Tim has a choice here. He can either uh, kill the Met Warper, which is probably the best idea. Sorted. Yeah, unfortunately. The Met Warper's gone. However, um, the Robo Cub can come out now. And um, that's going to have a nice little barrier against anything Tim's got for the next couple of turns, I think. He could innovate the um, nullifier. And to be honest, that's not the worst play in the world. But he's innovating the piloted shredder instead. So, um, you know, fuck what I say, eh? Backstab, um, and hit, but no, okay. The uh, norm has gone. And the annoyed Sean. It's a fucking reindeer. <laughs> okay. Jesus, backdrop on his reindeer. That's very true. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think the actual play here. It might be just armor up and pop the shield. I just think that's what he's doing. I'm trying to think four mana. I don't play enough rogue to know what Tim might have for four mana. I think his deck is some sort of uh, mage, uh, mech rogue. Relies a lot on iron senseis, I think. Nullifier, kill the Anoitron. That's not a bad play at all. Can that be attacked by weapons? Most probably. <laughs> I don't know why that works. Can you kill a fairy dragon with a weapon? I think so. Be a bit OP if not. Next turn, club and armor, probably. Depending on what he gets. <coughs> Excuse me. Is this it? Another Aniotron. That's two. It's both of his Aniotrons gone. And the Nullfire is going to go as well. Yeah, so it can be attacked by a weapon. Fair enough. Um, what's the play here? I think it's um, pop the shield, kill the Anoyotron, and then um, put the cup down. Okay, he's gone for the attack. I don't think it'll matter that much in this situation, unless uh, Tim has a backstab, which uh, would be a bit of a shame. 
Yeah, to be honest, that was a, a misplay on that part. They should have gone for the... Um... Yeah, there we go. To be fair, the backstab plus the uh, weapon could have killed it there. But that, that would have uh, taken an extra charge off Tim's dagger. Which would have been a bit better. Okay, he's choosing to... Okay. Let's see what he gets from this. And he gets the parrot! <laughs> oh, what a shame. <laughs> oh, this isn't going so well so far, unfortunately. I think Shredder and Hero Power and kill the... Um... Oh, that's a card. Um... He's got six mana. <clears throat> I think Shredder and uh, Hero Power to kill the gnome is probably still the best play. The technician, even, sorry. Next turn. I thought he didn't do it then, Jesus Christ. Um. So Tim can run this into the Shredder and then use the weapon. And Kyle can uh, use, depending on what he gets, um, can put the Druid of the Claw up and Hero Power or something. Maybe we'll just arm him up, arm him up. okay. This is good, uh, good from Tim, he can kill that and most probably can kill whatever drops out of it. Unless he gets a succubus. Okay, he can't kill it, but uh that's not so bad. Okay, fair enough. He's sacrificing his Okay, I don't really agree with that one, but each to their own I guess. So I think the play here is to uh drill the claw into taunts and kill the golem. Next turn, you can starfire the Yeti if needs be. Okay, not bad. Four, five, six, seven. So Tim could kill this. Though if he has an answer in his hand, it'd be better. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. I would kill this with the. Well, that's 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 a very good play. Um, that makes the shredder more of a target than the yeti. Though to be honest. The iron bark would have been good, but it still keeps the Yeti alive, unfortunately. Um, there's a chance that he could kill whatever comes out of the shredder if he puts does the starfire into hero power. I've realised how little health Tim's on. He's pretty much killed himself uh, here with his weapon hits. So that starfire could really come in handy. Okay, he's uh, saving the hero power, it's probably for best to leave him on two mana. So sh that's, that was a top deck. Kyle almost had that then, unfortunately. Uh, so what's this? Power of the Wild. Is Kyle dead? Move you. Move you think, Kyle. Four, five, six. He's not dead next turn. But he's going to Tinker Town as well. That puts more priority onto the board. Though, so, um, Tim hasn't used any of his uh, direct damage spells yet. He might have an Eviscerate 
or perhaps um, another Tinker, Tinker's Oil, or whatever the fuck it's called. Okay, he's spreading his searching. This is it's good for Kyle, this, so he can, um, can, has another turn to do some stuff. I think he's won next turn, if, uh, I think Kyle's, Kyle's won this, I think. Oh, no, he hasn't, no, he hasn't, oh, that's, that's, no, no, that was stupid. Let me, let me see, uh, uh five, six, yeah, can do six damage next turn. I'd freeze it and put out the, hmm, I don't know, you could taunt up his harvest golem, that stalls a bit longer, you could freeze the yeti. You don't want a Starfire yet, just because um, you don't want to know. You don't want to let Tim know to know um, he's close to lethal. So that was okay, I suppose, seeing that um, Tim has used one of his eviscerates. It's not as worrying. Is, is he going to go for the Panther, the Power of the Wild? Okay, that's that's not so bad. Um, he does have lethal next turn, if Tim can't deal with these two, and we know that um, Tim's used both of his backstabs. Let's see what we can come up with here. When I play with the stage. Is this going to be... This might be it, actually. Unless he taunts one of these two up. Uh, Kyle has indeed won this match. I think... I think this might be it. And Kyle has won. Let's see if he gets it. I hope he does. For the love of God, I really hope he does. Please, Kyle. Please. Starfire can hit. Please. And Kyle has won this. GG. And that is a 1 1. Next game wins. Tim's turn to catch pick. And not a bad match at all. GG. <laughs> so I'm guessing that Tim's going to go with his mage, okay? Excuse me. No, uh, let's see what Kyle trades in for his iron bark and his swipe. The clockwork gnome's not so bad in first turn. Excuse me. Innovate. And I might burk out which the innovate can be used to grab. Please don't innovate the Inoitron. Thank you. Oh! He's going all out! He's going all out! Ladies and gentlemen. A strong opening from Kyle. <laughs> Though it does leave him with nothing to play next turn. Coin what? Another Inoitron. Uh, so, uh, pops the shield with the hero power and then send the 2 1 into an Oyotron. Okay, that's one to face. Tim's can pop the shield next turn. Stuff. Oh, still nothing to play on cars, unfortunately. That innovate turn. I don't know. He could have had the Mount Warper in turn two, which I think would be much better. Is he going to whirling blade the Noitron? Without damage, two two Noitron. What are you going to do? I 
thought I did a tap then. The lag on spectator mode really <laughs> fucks you over sometimes. <laughs> okay, missiles. Okay, let's RNG. One, two, th that's a shame. So we've got a Pilot's Shredder next turn, which may be uh, frost bolted. When someone has a lethal, I'm going to set the rocket off in a celebration. I hope Cal gets lethal, because then I'll actually know when he has lethal, so I can set it off. Okay, that's not so bad. You can... Um, hero power, mech warper, uh, hit into that and see what you get. That sets you up for a mech burkat next turn, or maybe another mech if he has one. That's a scary arrow. Are you put it on yourself. That's a good card. That is a very good card. He likes these whirling blades. That's a that's a threat there. Um Kyle needs to uh get some better answers. That was actually quite a good <laughs> Not bad, eh? That was a very good uh, turn for Carl there. I will put the spider tank down hero power in order to kill everything rather than just the Met Bear Cat, to be honest, but. A swipe? I don't know. Okay, he's going with the Met Bear Cat. What's he going to kill with his. Um... Met Warper? Okay, kill the other Met Warper and face with the other. Or is he going to leave it next turn so he can kill the Shredder? Okay, he can hit face with it. Um, Tim's answers for the Met Bird Cat, he might have a Fireball. The Blast Mage. It's all these spare parts. He's going to mill. <laughs> we got. <laughs> He's gonna, oh my god, three reversing switches. <laughs> this is scary stuff. I think the play here is to swipe the, um, the Blast Mage. And then Hero Power. Okay, just another Met Bear Cat. See. He's going to Blast Mage into the Bear Cat and then ping it off. And you're just going to get loads more reversing switches. <laughs> it's a shame. That's a misplay. It may have cost Kyle the game, but we'll see. Look at this. Look at this hand. Look at this hand. This is disgusting. <laughs> What was that? That was an arcade insight. That's not so bad. So we put out the spider tank, we power, uh, armor up, hit in the face for three. Do we taunt something up? It's not the worst idea, though we are in flame strike range. But looking at uh, these, this hand, um, if Tim's not been cap uh, keeping track of the uh, spare parts, you might think that Carl has a lot, a much better hand than he actually does. But um, I was going to say Tim might not be a bit. Uh, Tim might not want a flame strike just because we don't have much of a board, and now we have no board and no minions to play. Reverse and switch swipe. I don't know. It's not the, way, the end of the world, is it? Freezing it? Nah. Not a bad idea. 
I'm gonna give it taunts as well. Shits and giggles. So we give it a bit more health. So probably Tim is in the better position now, I think. And he is now definitely. Though those reverse and switches might come in handy now. The Cogmaster's gonna be a bit of a pain. Um excuse me. What's the play here? Swipe could come in handy. Swipe could definitely come in handy. Holy shit, if you uh Starfire the Okay. If you get rid of the max, swipe would be ridiculous with those reversing switches. Though we don't have enough mana for it. <laughs> Scrap that. Wait, if you reverse and switched. No, 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 no! Oh! If you reverse and switch the uh, Cogmaster, does that mean they have one health? That's a shame. That would have been great. Tim with a very domineering board here. He could flame strike. Now he's going to draw some more cards. He could still flame strike. Mech, mech Warmer. <laughs> mech Warmer. Is this Mech Mage? I've never actually played against a Mech Mage. I don't play enough on ladder, but. That is a. Bloody great two drop. Holy crap. So the play here would be I don't I don't even know. He's saving those my ones. Well because he taunts up the uh, giants. Um maybe switch reverse and switch the snow chugger. Kill it with this. You can reverse and switch this, kill it with this. In fact, no, no, no. This is a very strange game. You reverse and switch this with four health. You reverse and switch this. And you reverse and switch this. And then you swipe. This is like a, a bit of a weird puzzle. Those reverse and switches have changed this game up completely. See, that's good. Yeah, you should reverse and switch the snow chugger. We'll see what Tim's got to answer these two taunts. He'll probably have a polymorph, maybe. I don't know what Metmage runs in terms of spells, to be honest. Uh, he could fireball this. He could um, put down a flame strike and ping it. Flame strike would probably be good because flame strike and then um, send the Yeti into the Iron Bark. Okay, that was a much better play. That's no if that's the play that I said, it's fine. No, you reverse in switch the Cogmaster and then you swipe the um mech warper and then you put your own mech warper down. On the other hand, you could just swipe the Mech Warper and then Hero Power. That's one way of doing it. It's just a different way of going for Wiser. <clears throat> okay, um, not in the worst position, I suppose, depending on what Kyle top decks next. Uh, you can reverse and switch his own mech warper to put it into the thingy, but depending on... Oh, well... GG, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, GG, Kyle. Uh, Starfire, the Blast Mage, maybe, just to keep... 
keep yourself alive a bit longer. Maybe reverse and switch the shredder to um, have less damage coming at your face. Armor up, hit the face. Wild growth. It's not really worth it at this moment. Tim might have won this. I mean, he has won this pretty much. And a fireball, maybe? Set the rocket off quick. No, I missed. Ah. Well, there you have it. Tim wins two one. Good shit. Tim advances. Cows and losers bracket. Some good games. There we go.